Hello, my little cupcakes. I have a very interesting, colorful story today. It's in the elephant's garden. Hope you like it. I do. In Jasmine's garden, there grew the most delicious fruit in the whole village. There were apples and apricots, kiwis and kumquats, papayas, peaches, and passion fruit. But every night, something was eating the, the very best fruit. Well, we just can't have this, thought Jasmine. We can't have this. We have a beautiful garden, and something's coming at night and eating all their fruit. One night, while everybody was in bed, she climbed out of a window and hid behind the lotus tree. The hours passed, the moon rose. Jasmine kept watch. She was watching out for her fruit garden, trying to find out what's going on. Who was eating all the fruit? Crash! An elephant fell from the sky. He munched all the mangoes, he guzzled all the grapes, he chomped all the cherries. Stop right there, Mr. Elephant, shouted Jasmine. You've eaten all our fruit. I'm very sorry, but I was hungry, said the elephant, and the fruit here is so delicious. Come with me and I'll let you, let and let me show you my garden. So he fell into her garden, ate everything, and she caught him, and he goes, well, come with me to my garden. Jasmine grabbed the elephant's tail and they took off over the treetops. They flew past the moon, they flew past the stars. Look at them flying through the sky. Flew past everything. They landed on a cloud where another garden grew. Everything in the garden was enormous. The peaches were as big as soccer balls and the oranges were the size of ostrich eggs. They were so big. It was enormous, gigantic. The elephant gave Jasmine a gigantic plum, but it was as hard as glass and impossible to eat. Every fruit looked delicious, but was really a precious jewel. No wonder you prefer the fruit in my garden, said Jasmine. At sunset, the elephant was hungry again. He offered Jasmine one ruby strawberry to show her mom, and they flew back home. So he offered her a, ru a ruby strawberry to show her mama. Maybe to make up for all the fruit he had eaten. Jasmine's family were, were very worried about her, but they could hardly believe when she showed them the great big ruby strawberry and told them about the elephant's garden. They wanted to see it for themselves. I'll take you tonight, promised Jasmine, but you mustn't tell anyone. They'll all want to come there. So she promised she'd take her family there, but she said, don't tell anyone. They'll all want to go. A little Hassan saw his friend Kali. It can't hurt to tell Kali, thought Hassan. After all, she is my best friend. Kali went straight home and told her mom, who told her cousin Bakul, who told Auntie Sita and Uncle Deepak. Before long, everybody had heard about the precious jewel in the elephant's garden. The precious jewels in the elephant's garden. If we can't have some of those jewels for ourselves, if we can have some of those jewels for ourselves, we will be rich, they said. <clears throat> so the story about the jewels... Jewel Garden got out. <clears throat> when the moon rose and they were all there wanting to visit the elephant's garden, they hid in the bushes and waited and waited until, crash, the elephant landed by the mango tree. So everyone was waiting for the elephant. And crash, down he came. When he was full, the elephant flew up into the night sky with everyone holding hands and trailing after him. When they reached the star, Cousin Bakul called to Auntie Sita, tell me again how big are those oranges? Auntie Sita couldn't remember, so she asked Kali, who asked Lil Hassan. Jasmine called Lil Hassan, how big did you say the oranges are? Wait and see, said Jasmine, we'll be there soon. So they wanted to know the size of the fruit. And they, Jasmine said, wait, we'll be there soon. But Cousin Bakul couldn't wait. Tell us now, he said. They're as big as ostrich eggs, said Jasmine. Cousin Bakul had never seen an ostrich egg. How big is that? He called up from the bottom of the line. Exasperated, Jasmine shouted, they're, they are this big. And she held out both her hands. Uh-oh. She held out both her hands to show them. Looks like she let go. And she and little Hassan, Heli and Asisita, 
Cousin Bakul and all the other friends and relations tumbled back down to earth and landed with a wallop by the mango tree. Uh-oh. So she showed them with her hands and they all fell down. Down by the mango tree. The elephant never came back. He must have found somewhere more peaceful to eat his dinner. So Jasmine's family and friends never did visit the elephant's garden after all. But they did get to, to eat the delectable dates and plump apricots, the sweet strawberries, and luscious, luscious lychees in Jasmine's beautiful garden. <clears throat> so the elephant never came back. But they did get to eat her fruit. The end. Hope you liked it.